plus five, let's say. Now line spacing takes our font value. We will get to the sprite fonts a little bit later. It'll take the font value and size, and it will calculate the line spacing of it, and then let's add five to it. Comma. The menu entry you want to designate as the point of origin, so play. And initial position, true. Quit. Dot. Set relative position. New vector 2. 0, comma, sprite. Font dot line spacing plus 5, comma, help. Comma true. Okay. So that is pretty much it for the positioning. Now we need to go back underneath the play dot set position and we need to set the events. So let's make a line between each one of these. And now let's build the event methods that we're going to be creating. So underneath the unload content, let's create a method that's called play select and if you are not familiar with how things work you can go into the menu system menu screen or the event menu entry it's going to the events region and see what's going on here as you can see we pass it the there's virtual methods highlight you can set some stuff up if you have a highlighted menu entry if you have selected the menu entry and things like that now the capitalized refers to the actual event handler so if that's not equal to no we need to call the event handler and it passes the menu entry and the event arguments. So if we go back to the main menu system, we need to do some type of things to the actual method itself. So make sure you put the void in front of the method you want to create. Now this is going to be the event handler, so we need to create this method is going to be called from the event handler. So we need an object sender who sent this and a event args and let's just call it E. And all this does is gives us arguments if we choose to do so and tells us who sent who sent us who fired off this method. So we did play select. So let's go to screen manager dot add screen and let's do a con a uh, new play we haven't created this yet but you can write this out play screen now comment this line out and do remove in front of it Alright, so that's the play selection. So now what we need to do is we need to set it up to actually call it. So we do play plus equal play dot selected selected plus equals the method we just created down here. Play select. So we do that by saying new event handler play select that's how you do an event we need to do the same thing for help and quit so let's just copy this paste it below change from play select to help select and change new play screen to new help screen Again, leave the comment because we haven't gotten there yet. 
Now we can just copy this line above here inside the initialize where we have play dot selected plus equals new event handler play select. Copy that whole line, paste it in the gap between help and quit, and change play select inside the event handler to help select. Now we need to do the same thing for quit, but this is a little bit different. Let's copy the method again. Avoid help select. Let's copy all that. Oops. Copy. Let's paste it below. Let's call it quit select. Now in this case, we're just going to remove the comment. And we're just going to remove. Now, if you are for sure that you do not need to unload content, or if you are not that comfortable with the unload content clearing a uh, field, you can do things a little bit differently than I have it here. And there is an event in the main menu system that will handle this. So let's create a void main menu remove object sender and event args e let's say menu entries dot clear all right so now you can delete the whole unload content and you might want to leave it up there so you can do sprite font is equal to null but if you are not that familiar with the menu system again, you can just look at the menu system and see does it take care of it on its own or does it not. If it doesn't, you can do that, but it looks like it does, so you do not need to do this. Just so you get the idea. Now you will need to do that for the load content, so let's do public override load content while we're here. Because load content doesn't know what you want to load, so you need to do that in the, all the derived classes. Again, if you're not that sure if you need to call base, look, there is no load content here, so you don't need to call base. Okay. So what we're going to do is we need to actually call this. And like I said, there is an event built into the core menu system that's called removed. That's an event. You can tell by the little lightning that it's an event. Removed plus equals new event handler. Main menu remove. Let's save. And we're good to go. Now that's it for this tutorial. We're going to finish this when we get to the help screen and play screen. So as you can see, we are kind of building things as quickly as possible. But you'll run into a case where you are building something. It can't go any further unless you start building something else. You start building that something else and it can't go any further until you build something else. And just things can go that way sometimes. So that's it for the menu screen tutorial. Next tutorial we'll discuss the help screen. It's a little bit easier. And then we'll discuss the play screen.